Okay, here's part two of our minimalist project. Going upstairs, um, Ben will go, um, I need to pull, that's our marriage license, and there's some pictures. Um, this is a crib mattress. Um, bags of children's clothes, baby clothes. We were fostering um, for a little while. And my daughter's clothes that she's outgrown that have been very sentimental to me. But I'm going to let them go. Um, dare I turn on the light in her bathroom? <laughs> she's, she's, uh, she's 10. And um, I think there's just towels in there. This stuff came out of our keep room that I cleaned out to put everything we're keeping. And it belongs to my um, stepson and daughter. They are... 11-year-old um, twins and um, they have not had a chance yet but they are going to have to go through everything and keep very few items um, that are needed over here um, or when we when we move we're going to move into a much smaller place to keep up our new habits um, they'll have to go through everything and either take it to their mom's house or get rid of it but they don't use any of it so <laughs> it should be okay um, this is basically just turned into a bunch of random, random crap. Um, lots of baby stuff. See, there's diapers shoved up there. Um, children's clothes, toys, um, baby paraphernalia. And then it um, comes across here. I don't know if I can open it. Yeah, there's tons of towels, unopened formula, um, that nobody wants. You can't return it. You can't donate it. Because um, anybody that needs formula is on WIC. So they don't want it. So it's just wasted. Um, sippy cups that are pretty much new. And blocks, stalls. It just is a load of stuff. Uh, so hopefully uh, my husband will take a lot of that off to the consignment store. See, my daughter's room is still pretty full, although we have really gutted it out. I mean, it looks like it has tons of stuff so she's gonna have to downsize a little bit more but we have time that room will be off limits while we're doing the move um, this is my bedroom I want to keep this Pavasan chair but um, I it's, it's really awkward it's not easy to sit in and um, I fall out of it all the time <laughs> and I um, but I think I'm going to keep the cushion and just use it as like in like a meditation area or something like that. I don't know. I'm going to keep the hooks on the wall um, or take them off and take them with me. But all the bags will go. Um, my husband's uh, little side table will have to be gone through. And everything over here I have already gone through and it's going. Uh, so I've got tons more kid clothes, um, doll bed, um, I can't even tell you how many collections of things I have. Um, I'm going to get rid of my vanity. And um, shelves, more shelves, dolls, toys. Um, that's my jewelry armoire, full of tons of stuff, but I have gone through it. And, um, you know, here I've got dolls that I used to always, you know, collect. Um, Gwen Stefani dolls and... Um, I've got Paul Frank Barbie that looked like it was going for a little bit of money on eBay. Um, I love all the stuff, but I I need to let it go. And then here we've got the Play-Doh stuff, and there's some more scrapbook paper, some paint pens. Um, things that I've just saved. Like I have this Polly Pocket thing, and it's got tons of those little teeny tiny dolls in it. Like 50. Um, they're inside. And... I could take the time to sell it, but I'm kind of, mentally, I just really can't. And that doesn't make sense to a lot of people, but I've made the decision to let it go, and i that's as much as I can do. So, um, see, here's another one. There's cheap shelves. It's still in the box. Um, I've got an, an older model, but new Nintendo DS that I, um, has tons of games, but, you know, we don't use it. Um, you know, a lot of this junk in the bathroom will go. And then here comes our gigantic closet. It is like the size of four closets. We could easily, I don't know if you can even tell how big it is, we could easily fit a 
um, queen size bed in there with room to walk on the side if the clothes were gone, but a twin would fit with room to walk on the side. Um, I actually think two twins because it goes back so far. It has its own window in the closet and an air conditioner because it's the only window that could support our air conditioner. All this stuff will go. I've already cleaned out all my clothes. Um, it looks like I have a ton here, which I do, but um, you'll see in a second the ones that I'm keeping is still way more than I need. I watched a video, it's on my playlist, about this lady, and she's, um, you know, so smart. There's my husband's side there. About um, only having a small number of clothes, and um, everything matches, everything works together in a lot of different ways. And you always know that you've picked the best thing that you could be wearing because you could easily see everything that you have. And you just own really high-quality clothes that work in a lot of different areas. This one I'm showing you is my Christmas stuff. I have pared it down over the years to just two bins and a couple little boxes of ornaments. I got rid of, or you know, pulled out to get rid of um, wrapping paper and stuff. So I'm going to keep the rest of this until, probably until Christmas and then... When we're in our new, much smaller place, it'll be easier to see what needs to, you know, go. My husband has a lot of shoes, more bins, even more toys of my daughter's that she wasn't taking care of, so I took away. It's all, it's a dog bone. <laughs> the house is gross. But I am leaving in like 24 hours for the Philippines. So, okay, this room here is the keep room. The lamp's still hanging from uh, my stepdaughter. I've got um, an empty suitcase and an empty bag that my husband can fill when he does his sorting. Um, those are all empty, and I don't know if I'm going to get rid of them or use them to organize my Project Life stuff. Let me come over here, and I will try to back up. There's not a lot of room. So I've got one of these things. Um, the drawers are empty, so my husband can use those. Um, my yoga blocks. A lot of things in here now are sentimental items. Um, in that blue thing is some stuff that needs to go to the Girl Scouts, but um, is important and needs to not be lost until I get back. So there's my wrapping paper. Um, it's just enough so I don't have to buy. I, I don't know if I should even get rid of that. I've been going through this room and I really should get rid of so much that's in here. Like I said, a lot of it is um, sentimental or decorative items. Um, this is the baby clothes and my daughter's clothes that I'm still having a hard time getting rid of in those bags. Most of these drawers are empty, so my husband can fill those. And then up here I stuck the plants, my seashell collection. I mean, I'm a collector, so this stuff is, um, is difficult. Um, decorative pillows that I always hid from the kids because they'd throw them around and throw them on the floor and stand on them and stuff. It would drive me nuts, but... It's either use them or get rid of them. So I'm going to use them, and if the kids ruin them, I'll yell at them, and then I'll get a new pillow. <laughs> no, the goal is to stop yelling at the kids. A um, little bit of bathroom stuff and, you know, a stool, um, containers that are really aren't all full of stuff. Um, I collect containers, too, so I've got some things sprawled out on the floor because I'm going through them. I'm trying to decide whether to keep one, both, or none of these Timbuk2 bags. Um, empty suitcase I opened up for my husband. Um, that army bag is empty for him. And this container here is empty for him. And then these are my clothes. I filled up the entire closet. There's no room for his stuff. My daughter's stuff is staying in her room. Um, and then up top, t-shirts, towels, purses, bathroom stuff in the blue bin. Shoes hanging in that shoe compartment um, deal. So, yeah. So that's um, that's what we've done so far. Uh, the goal is definitely to get down to uh, less items. I'm certainly not trying to do 100 items here, um, but I want, because I want to have a comfortable, warm, inviting home that expresses um, me, my husband, and my family, and um, has things that we'd like to use, but I don't want to be so overwhelmed anymore and feel like I'm in prison because of all of this stuff. Every time I walk past a pile, it's like a to-do list. 
item that I'm not getting to. It's either an unfinished project or something I need to sort through or whatever. So, um, that's it. I will um, try to make a video when I arrive back from the Philippines and see all of these items just gone. <laughs> and um, maybe see what we have left. Maybe we'll I don't know how long it'll take us to find a place uh, that we like and move, but I can pull everything out at that point when this stuff's gone, everything out of the keep room, and kind of put it back in this house and see it much emptier, see what that's like. But we've got to get in a smaller place before we fill this up again. Um, that's so easy to happen. So, that's it. I will... Uh, See you soon. Bye.